Welcome back to Mom's Town Live. I'm Mary. And I'm Heather. And what a great show we have. We're talking about how you can take an idea or a creative passion and really turn it into a business. I think well, just, you know, just knowing that it's possible is so inspiring and motivating. You would think, as we have been doing this for seven years, that women would just know it is possible. But there's a lot of, you know, gosh, how do I do it? What if I fail? What if I risk too much money? Can I sustain it? How do I get the word out? Well, Mom's Talent is really the answer. We have women that are our guests that will tell you exactly how they did it and how they stayed inspired. And of course, we're meeting with Michelle Barad of shopmichelle.com. She's got how many pieces in your line? 290? Uh, yeah, it's about that. It's like well, just a little under 300. So you have these beautiful catalogs. You have all this beautiful jewelry. You have 400 consultants around the country. And it just started because you were wearing your own designs mm -hmm. Yeah, on you. Uh, yeah, and and um, with with my jewelry, what's interesting is that in direct selling, that it's all about relationships. I was talking about, and um, the when women are wearing my jewelry, people will just come up to them and ask, "Where did you get that photo necklace?" And so you kind of all of a sudden introduced a you conversation. Your own, exactly, your marketing right on you is right on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if there is a woman who has a product line, because mm -hmm. women will create product lines, yes. but then they're thinking, gosh, I gotta boost sales, what can I do? What would you recommend or any tips that you have just being a mom entrepreneur? Right, being a mom entrepreneur. One of the things is that you, like you were saying, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. You have to just absolutely want to do what you be enthusiastic it's contagious people know when you're when you love something isn't that the truth huge it's like well, when you're recommending a movie it you, takes you know? all the marketing and, out of it and who yeah. talks the most women, women. Mom and moms <laughs> yeah because they'll right. come right up to you and just like start because they're so, so excited about something yeah. and who do you buy and just this is a really good point because who do you buy things from when not necessarily from but you listen because mostly of to other moms when they mm -hmm. recommend. Oh, totally. Not necessarily the Cindy Crawfords of the world, they're beautiful and they yeah. are moms, but they, they're they really appealing to the fact that they are moms to try mm -hmm. to connect. But I listen to my girlfriends. Yeah. Where to go to dinner, the best yeah. preschool for your mm -hmm. kids. I mean, it really comes down to that is our market of influence mm -hmm. are our fellow moms in the cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. So so being passionate. Being, being passionate. passionate and then when you're look, and if you're looking for a company like, say, in the direct selling industry, right? And you you have to find a product that you're completely passionate about. That's the first thing. And then what you have to do is you have to really set your mindset, and you have to be consistent. You have to treat your business like a business because if you treat it like a hobby, it's going to be, be a hobby. hobby. You treat it like a business, it's a business. And there's a huge distinction in that. I think it's really important because yes. we so many women get caught up in really treating it like a hobby. Yeah. When well, they and get afraid to charge, mm -hmm. afraid to sell. Uh, we hear They'll from give women discounts. Oh, and we hear from women all the time who say, "I'm not good at sales." But see, they are and they don't realize it because if they're like you're saying, they're all chatty Cathy's. They're all out there talking <laughs> to people. And they'll talk about, like I was saying, about a movie. They'll talk about how they just love a movie. They will go well, and chat about and it. And you know right. what's so funny to me is you ask any husband, oh, yeah, she's a salesperson. Yeah, exactly. She, she sells me on stuff all the time. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Well, and even think about online. Who uses Facebook the most? Oh, it's all moms. All moms. I'm like on it all the time. You are a good oh, Facebook girl. Oh, I'm a good Facebook girl. girl. You're yeah. really good. I am terrible. I am terrible too. I'm I am so bad, it. but you are good. You're you're schooling us. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm getting you guys moving on yeah, that thing. Yeah, you are. You know, you Michelle, are. when it comes to the financial element of it, when Heather and I talk about a lot with our mom entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. if you want to make, let's say, starting out, you want to make $500 this month. Yeah. What we recommend is back into your day. Anymore, mm -hmm. you can work seven days a week, yeah. 30 days a month. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do that, let's say you keep it at 20 days, mm -hmm. but then you figure out how much product you have to sell to equal that amount you want to earn. Exactly. And if they look at it from the numbers standpoint, it kind of takes the scariness out of it. Exactly. It's right there, gosh, if I sell three bracelets, eight necklaces, that means I'm halfway to my goal and I still have 15 days to go. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Well, it really yeah. brings you to really the other looking tip that at you the money have. Side. The other tip that you have is to set goals. Set goals for yourself. Right. Right. That's exactly. First first and foremost, set goals. And that's where your why comes in. You have to know, first of all, what's your why? What is it you want? You want $500 a month? Then you figure that out. And what happens with direct selling, like in our, in our case, our average parties are about $800 and the consultant makes 25%. 
So that's $250 for one party. So that's two parties that are average of- One night. One night, that's two parties out of an entire month to have and you've made $500. And you've made your money. Wow. And you've made your money and you've gone and socialized and had cocktails with your girlfriends. But that doesn't count- And met new people. And that doesn't count if they've signed someone up underneath them to do- Yeah, then you get residual income. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, now here's the big thing. Mm -hmm. Recurring and residual income. Yeah. Huge. Every, big companies want that. Yeah. Not just not just moms working from home, but yeah. larger companies are mm-hmm. really trying to figure out that recurring residual business mm-hmm. model and how So you don't have to reinvent the wheel right, exactly. all the time and finding new clients all the time. You mm-hmm. create a model that they just automatically purchase again yeah. on a monthly basis. Yeah, and that's mm-hmm. that's that's exactly it. And in direct selling, not, you know, in all direct selling companies. First of all, I want to make sure you guys know that if, if somebody's looking for a direct selling company, they should really go to the DSA.org. That's hugely yes, important. Yes, they have like so 260 you know, companies listed there. Which is there. like, yeah, it's like the huge ones and the little ones, but it, it's... They police it, you a little bit. Yeah, it takes a year to become a direct selling association member. I mean, uh, now, yeah. Now, real quick question for you though. Why do you think direct selling has gotten such a black eye over the years? Why do, you peop- why do people say, oh, that must be one of those pyramid <laughs> things or it must be some multi-level marketing thing? Mm-hmm. Why do you think it has been like that? Well, I think what happened was years and years ago, it just, people just, you know, there was all those scams where people were selling things that were not, they weren't a product. Because a pyramid is selling an idea where there's no product. Burning it off. Right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. There's selling no idea, actual oh, product, no you know? Product. Yeah, not even but, in the market, really. But direct <laughs> selling is like huge i mean it's like it's they are there it's like i was saying it's all about relationships they're there to cultivate relationships and unfortunately years ago it you know pyramids were the things that people were talking about but there there are no there are no pyramids and the direct selling association is the company that polices this you know exactly because you're buying products and services that you normally would buy anyway you're just buying them from from a consultant a friend or, or a, a friend, consultant yeah. or a mom a representative yeah exactly now yeah. would you we well, have to go into another break but would you think that it would be okay if you have a passion for jewelry but you also have one for maybe home decorating yeah. that they could do two at the same oh, time of course complimentary yeah yeah exactly. complimentary there's a lot of consultants that we have that do the same thing because you're not taking away from the other you're just adding yeah yeah so if people want to get a hold of you, how should they contact you? Oh, go Shop. to shopmichelle.com. Okay. And um, anybody over there will help you. We're really easy. We're not, you know. Oh, are you? Yeah, we're really like, easy and nice. No, really mean. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't get that impression. Nice <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, are we done? Do we yeah. do two? We yeah, do we two. do two. All right, yeah, cool. They flew by. That was fast. All right, yeah. cool. All right, lady. All right. We'll see you again. Very good. Oh, what? Thank you. Isn't it good?